Uh, we've got four guys in there doing production welding, um, all aluminium TIG um, and all hand, hand welded. We have uh, kits of parts. So these are flat profiles for uh, TD5 and V8 radiators. So that's after we have formed them and then that's with a little bit further welding done. So that's the end tank yeah. for, I think that's Disco 2 V8 possibly. These are all TD5 end tanks. All the profiles for Discovery Defender TD5. Went in house? Yes. Wow. These are all the little pipes that we would weld onto a radiator. You sure you're not making it up? <laughs> I could tell you anything, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so air boxes in, waiting for welding. These are Series 3 Land Rover radiators. Those are universal ones, so that's a smaller one that uses a TDI Defender air filter. And that's a larger one. Um, that one would take a Defender V8 in, yep. uh, air filter, and that will flow over 600 horsepower. The original ones generally are very restrictive, and a lot of the reason for that is from a, a, a noise point of view. <laughs> Discovery TD5 header tanks with our sight gauge. So it's a, it's a particular type of glass, and it sits into a pocket with a little O-ring. Um, so those we pressure tested. The latest version now we pressure tested to 200 PSI at about 190 degrees centigrade because we found that originally we made them with plastic and the plastic would crack over time. So right. we've gone over to this, this design and since then we've never had a problem with them. Discovery 2 um, ACE and power steering reservoir with the sight gauge. That bracket just slots straight into the bracket on the wing. So that is exactly a direct replacement. And the other benefit is that the standard cap just has the breather hole uh, it's just literally a hole in the plastic cap so they can let water in and the uh, vapor that comes out of them will collect dust so they get very dirty so you can pipe this you can it it come like with a breathers yeah so you can pipe that somewhere into the chassis mm. or or you could even plumb it into a raised air intake system power steering reservoirs again with the different breather system. TDI breather pops. And make those with an O-ring so they seal nicely. And they have that special breather inside so that they don't block up. So the original ones have gauze and mesh in them um, and they're not really easy to clean. So these don't block up. Okay. And they actually separate the oil much more efficiently. So you don't have so much vapor going into the intake. TD5 intake pipes. And each of these are um, cut as flat scallops and then rolled. So each one is actually a cone. Mm. So it gradually changes the shape. There's a lot of them on the market that actually copied this. But the easy way to do it is to come with the same size pipe all the way around with a bend and then suddenly reduce it yes. and they make them very restrictive. Discovery TD5, manual gearbox intercoolers, Discovery TDV6, TDI radiators, that's a radiator for a Cummins conversion, um, lots of various types of EGR blanking kits, uprated heater matrix for Defender, Discovery 2, and these we've made with, so they accept the same push-on fittings. Mm. Defender washer bottles with a single pump and twin pump. And these are, we designed, uh, these are 3D printed. Uh, we work a lot with Optimil and we make one of these suitable for the, for the Optimil pump. Yeah. So yeah, that works well. 
Those are aluminum lightweight dashboards for competition defenders, left and right hand drive. So you could replace your whole dash with those? Yeah. Yeah, it's left hand drive and right hand drive, and then you can obviously tailor all of the switch panels and everything to suit. Oh, so if you wanted to convert a right hand drive to left hand drive, there's your option. That, yeah, that is a, <laughs> that's a way of doing it, yeah. These are radiators for BMW M57 conversion. So it's a slightly different layout. It's, that's for Defender. Uh, so if you were starting with a TD5 or TDCI chassis, then that would drop straight in. The pipework layout is better for BMW and it doesn't have the um, the little cooler pipes for the TD5 um, EGR and fuel cooler. Um, we do a different one for LS and LT V8 for the state um, and the Cummins conversion. That's a conversion, it's an L S conversion into a TDCI Defender. Series 2 radiator, two types again there, standard replacement and a V8 conversion. So the pipes are in a different place. These are Series 3. Bumpers, yes. So, so that's the centres with yeah. the logo. 5 mil thick aluminium um, with and without the logos and without the daylight running lamps. From a coating point of view, um, we could offer a ceramic coating. Yeah. So you could have it ceramic coated clear if you wanted to keep it plain aluminium. Um, or there's a range of colours of ceramic coating. Yeah. These are our cast performance TD5 manifolds. So that's a standard TD5 exhaust manifold that is prone to warping you can see the the flow is a lot better so it doesn't collect so much heat and then we do them with and without EGR connections and we also do them ceramic coated the main reason for ceramic coating is that it will reduce the underbonnet radiation so it aids the um, the gas flow effectively by keeping the heat inside helps reduce the warping issue as well. This is the uh, project for Tomcat. So they fitted this BMW M57 and an eight speed auto. And we'll be developing the cooling system, all the pipe work into coolers, uh, oil coolers, radiator on the back that's gonna be fitted. This is another N57 project. Um, so we've developed the radiator and intercooler and the special parts of this is the cutout at the bottom to miss the turbo pipe. A lot of radiators have a pipe in opposing corners and you end up with cool spots where the water will naturally flow across the radiator. So we put baffles in um, and you can have twin pass or this is triple pass. So there's a series of baffles in there and it forces the, radi the water to pass over the whole area of the radiator. So it makes it a lot more efficient. The airbox that we developed for this will be for a lot of converted vehicles. So for BMW, for LS, LT, um, Cummins, you know, all sorts of conversions. So we'll do an airbox with a, with a different lid for each conversion. So this is the um, competition car that we use for, for a lot of stage rallies. I, I built it 11 years ago and the idea of the car was that because it's got a stage rally logbook, it's a bit unusual so I'm allowed to do stage rallies and hopefully we're just waiting to hear that we've been in, the entry's been accepted but we're hoping to enter the Dakar Classic in 24. Yeah, the Dakar Classic is a good opportunity now for, for the older cars um, and you're a part of the main event. You know, we, we run some slightly different stages, yeah. um, but it's still two weeks long, long days, sometimes a thousand kilometers in a day. So we've made a hundred litre fuel tank to supplement the original 55 litre tank that we made for it. So in theory, we'll be able to cover about 400 miles. So these are for aerial atoms, um, Series 1 80-inch fuel tank in development.
Let's drop straight for that. There we went. <coughs> that there. And this is your, this is the one we just looked at, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so that's the development jigs. So there's the first prototypes, really, of um, of that air box that we can't talk about. Um, um, of that air box that we can't talk about. Um, Can we just do a little sneak peek then? We won't sort of mention too much about it. As long as it's sneak, yeah. Okay, not a big yeah. in-depth, no, okay. Just Only glance across it. The original pipe comes around the back of the, in there. Mm -hmm and goes goes into the air box there so if somebody <coughs> has like that nugget stuff one nugget stuff do an intake box that goes to a, a pipe to the original air box mm. so if somebody has already got that we will have an air box to fit the original to pipe. retrofit that yeah and you could fit that to the original ducting but i'll show you the ducting when we go around and you see just how crap it is so that's the original air box and it fits on there but it's it's all it's all just pushed together it's not really an interference fit is it no it's pretty poor really so it's not sealed at all so you find that people are fitting snorkels onto the outside yeah. and seal it to the wing but then all of this is not sealed so and i mean the air boxes aren't even sealed they're they're really quite a poor design and that's so restrictive so i don't know probably another month maybe we'll have some available and then and then i'll as keen as i am to start putting things on social media i've learned to try and re re refrain until i've actually got product mm -hmm. <laughs> because as soon as you put it out there it'd be like oh how much is it when i have one